Okay, so in my YouTube comments, I've been uh, advised to try uh, this fix from Vence's blog. And uh, I'll put a link in the description to the blog. It is an amazing blog. And this is where I got the uh, YouTube tearing fix from in one of my previous or two of my previous videos. Uh, so this newer one, uh, and it's had an update since the 7th of April, so it's pretty recent. And I don't think anybody else has covered this. He did an original one, uh, which allowed you to play things like uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, on the Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, now it's even better because it does all that but it also has fixed the screen tearing issue as well so this is an amazing fix and really makes the Pi uh, so much better so let's have a look at how you do it okay first of all you need to go to the top and click on the Raspberry go down to preferences and Raspberry Pi configuration then you need to click on the third tab interfaces and then enable SSH and then just click OK. So now you need to open up a terminal and you need to type in ifconfig and then your IP address is the one I've highlighted here uh, you need to write this down because you'll need it in a minute on your computer so you've now enabled your Pi to be controlled from another computer Okay, so I'm going to use a Mac for this next bit. So you need to open up Terminal on a Mac. It's slightly different on Windows or Linux. And then put in SSH Pi and your IP address. Hit return. The password is the Pi's password. Which I got it wrong first time. Okay, so now I'm into my Pi. So let's go to the instructions. Okay, so we need to copy this text from Vence's blog. And then paste that in. Hit return. Let's make this full screen. That's it. Then reboot. Okay, so if we go up to the Raspberry and go down to Internet, you'll see that we've now got Chromium Media Edition. So we click on that, and you need to click on that to be able to get all these video services working without tearing or anything. So I need to plug back in my Ethernet cable because it was out. So now if I do a search for, say, iPlayer, click on iPlayer. Now iPlayer, I think, worked before, um, but now it works even better because there's no tearing. Uh, it can go full screen 1080 with no pairing. Uh, what was I looking at yesterday? Uh, this one. And I won't be able to play much of this and I'll obscure some of the screen, but you'll see that it's playing and you'll see that it's playing without tearing, which is amazing. There you go, so playing really well, really pleased with that. So let's pause that and go for uh, Netflix. And what can I play that will be safe to play? Let's go with that. Full screen. You see it works fast as well. There's no there's no issues with it. So no tearing and it looks great. And scrubbing you can see is nice and fast. That looks nice, doesn't it? Super responsive. Uh, so also let's do Amazon Prime. Prime video. Click on my stuff, just click on something here to get it playing something. I guess that'll probably be safe. And get rid of the graphics, so let's do a bit of that. Always like a bit with a bike in it. There you go. 
So let's quit out of that. And I haven't tried um, Apple TV Plus yet. Uh, and that's not mentioned on there. So let's see if I can log into that. Ah, here we go. So let's just try. We've been watching this episode. Really good this is. Uh, how to watch play with Apple TV Plus. Oh no, there's a play symbol then. Oh no, it's playing. There you go, so that's playing as well. So, how do I... Oh, we can skip the intro and make it full screen. And let's just skip into the episode a bit. And it's playing, but it is playing a bit jerky. So I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe it uses some sort of different encryption or something. I know it uses a high bit rate, but it's, uh, yeah, it's playing, but it's playing jerky. So let's quit out of that. And let's, let's go back into it and see if that makes a difference. What's my temperature? My temperature's still low. I'm overclocked to 2147 on this computer, which you shouldn't, you don't need. I, uh, with the other video, I didn't have it overclocked with my YouTube video and it worked fine. So let's go back into Chromium Media Edition and that's halfway through the episode. So I've got tearing and I've got juddering. So if I go back to Netflix, Okay, so it looks like uh, Apple TV Plus doesn't work properly, but iPlayer, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and obviously the other ones mentioned in the blog are supported properly. So another great fix by Vents. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.